Hey, our teammates have passed 15 kills right now. I think he's trying to touch a 20. Give him a 20. I like that! That's what I'm talking about! Hey, please tell me you got the 20. You got the 20, right? Uno mas. Yeah. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. One down. Yep. Up top Cash right money. Here. Cash money. Yep. Yeah, I need that. I need that. Let's go, baby! GG, let's go! GG, let's go! GG, go. let's go! Let's go! Hey, I hope you got that 20 bomb too. I hope you got that 20 bomb, nigga. Yeah, well, I hope you got it. Yeah. I got you, gang. I got you. I got you. I got you. Good shit. I got you, gang. Hey, that's all him right there. Who is that, Tony? Or was it Octane? Which one? I don't even know. Two locked in. Shout out to both. That's six. Twenty-two. You got. You better say that, boy. Twenty-two. <laughs> GG's, bro. Hey, GG's king. Bam, 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 bam. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Scrappy, and I have just officially finished the fourth legend of my solo to masters, the console sequel. This is a running experiment to test out what legends are strong or weak in this meta of ranked in season 20 of Apex Legends. I solo queued the overwhelming majority of my games. Unlike last year when I first did this challenge, where I actually solo queued 100% of every game for all 24 legends to masters. And so to those that try to discredit what I'm doing right now, Unless you've solo queued 100% of every game that you've ever played in Apex Legend and every other FPS currently, then kindly shut the fuck up. Anywho, there have been a lot of changes to all the Legends due to the perk upgrades this season, and so that's the main reason why I revived this series. And now that I've finished Bangalore, I can finally give you guys my analysis and my thoughts as to whether or not she's good or bad for this season. So let's get into the assessment. Firstly, I want you guys to know what kind of factors I'm taking into consideration when I'm talking about each legend's raw intrinsic strength. I'm looking at things like escapability or movement, team support, team play, offensive or defensive capabilities, but also how well they do them, and also whether or not their perk upgrades changes their strength levels at all. And so, for Bangalore, she does possess a lot of raw strength as you guys know by now. But unfortunately for her, I feel as though her perk upgrades didn't really improve or enhance her strength at all. But I could also understand why that's okay, simply because she's one of the strongest legends in the game. Imagine if they gave her the Revenant treatment, also one of the strongest legends in the game that received crazy perk upgrades. Bangalore would be able to take on Russia and China at the same time by herself. And so we can't have that happen. So if I can discuss very quickly her abilities, since I'm sure a lot of you guys already understand Bangalore and how she's supposed to be used. The reason she is so powerful is because she can fulfill any role on the team. She's great at supporting her teammates. She's great at being a hell of an entry fragger. And she's equally as good as being a refragger. She can definitely play that anchor role as well. She can truly do it all. She has movement. She has two smokes, which both provide cover and protection. They are both great for using as rotational devices. They are good for cutting off lines of sights. They are good for both aggressive pushes, but also defensive retreats. Digi threats are no longer a thing on SMGs, so that's kind of an indirect buff to Bangalore as well. And she also has an ultimate that is very good at zoning and can be used in many different ways as well. It could be used for pushing a team. It could be used for running away from a team. It can be great for delaying a third party. It's amazing to buy you some time if you need to revive your teammate. It's amazing for getting those pesky little rats off those damn roofs with their snipers. And it also adds a lot of visual and audio clutter, which makes a fight insanely difficult to process for your enemy opponents. I can keep going on and on and on. Not to mention her supply bins. And for what it's worth, her perk upgrades, even though I don't really think they changed her at all. She's great for three stacking, and she's amazing for solo queuing. And somehow she's still not blatantly overpowered in the eyes of the community. Respawn has done a fantastic job with this character. And if you find yourself struggling in this season, and you're playing one of these off-meta legends, then I definitely recommend that you try out Bangalore, because she's one of the strongest legends in the game. Now let's also quickly go over her new perk upgrades. The perk upgrades that I used 100% of the time were minus 60 seconds on cooldown for your ultimate, and the auto ping passive. I think the cooldown decreases for all the legends, including Bangalore, is pretty cool. It's definitely helpful, but it's pretty damn lazy. But again, this makes sense. Bangalore's so powerful right now, they can't give her any strong abilities. 
that would just make her OP. And considering that because she has one of the longest cooldowns for her ultimate in the game, I'd much rather take a minute off that cooldown as opposed to using the other blue perk, which is her ability to see grenades through boxes. This makes sense for Fuse. But this is easily the worst perk upgrade that I've seen so far in the series, especially for Bangalore. Her kit is not predicated on using grenades or being around grenades or needing to find grenades. That to me just felt like, okay, well, Bangalore's really strong. We're running out of DSO. We'll just give her this one. And realistically, if you're using this perk, you better get faster with looting, bro. There is zero reason for you to ever use this perk as Bangalore. Now let's talk about her purple upgrades. Initially, when I had seen that you could auto-regen your health using your smokes... I was drawn to that until I realized how effing terrible it is. One smoke only heals you up about 50 HP and heals you far slower than Lifeline's drone and Octane's auto regen. And did I mention you can't use it in Storm? And that makes sense because of all the rat issues that we've encountered for the last couple of seasons. But still, it's just so damn situational, I never found any good use out of it. And so then I tried out her other perk, the auto ping one. This auto pings the enemy that shoots at you or your team and locates their position on the screen. And although this isn't game changing at all, it is another added element of awareness for your teammates and yourself. And so I thought this was a thoughtful upgrade, but it really doesn't change the dynamic of Bangalore at all. In fact, none of her perk upgrades do, but I don't believe that they were intended to. And so although they do add some unique elements to Bangalore, I don't think her perks make her any extra stronger. I think most of her strength, if not all of it, relies on her abilities and her kit. But at the end of the day, a perk upgrade is still an upgrade. And so it definitely tips the scale but only ever so slightly. And after spending about 150 games with her, I have come to the conclusion that Bangalore is still definitely an S tier legend, even with this Bloodhound meta that's starting to creep up. She's just too damn versatile, and she possesses mass amounts of intrinsic strength. Let me know down in the comments if you guys agree. Next on the list, we do have old Fusey boy. And so make sure you're on the lookout for that if that excites you at all, if it titillates you at all. Be sure to stay and watch the rest of the gameplay if you can. I ended up dropping 620 bombs during my time with Bang. I had some crazy games, the craziest so far this series. And so I won't delay it any longer. Enjoy the gameplay. Have a good rest of your weekend, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.
Tip, know what you're doing. on the belt.
double time it. Give it on the gym. Give my shield a recharge. Three zero, please look. Danger close. Rings 
next door. 45. We've got company. Got trouble here. Incoming. Y'all learned this. Just watch your backs. An enemy shield. Reloading. Give my shield a Next door, 45. Reloading. Need more juice. Using a Phoenix gate. Give my shield a recharge. 30 seconds until the recharge. Double timing it. It's an enemy shield. Tango down.
Give my shield a recharge. An enemy shield. Whole squad. Taking a name. That also spotted.
Another notch on the belt. Cracked an enemy shield. Another one. Got my upgrade. One minute till close. Throw it a frag. No one's getting back off from that. Champion out.
Uno más. Go. All cause of you, I got that shit.
Can we all three push up there? You throw your Gibby bubble, please. And we just aggro push them. Down behind us in the building. Out there outside. Look at Ryzen, look at Ryzen. Oh, um, I hit over 60. Can we put pressure on this team to the right? Oh no. I'm not next to you, I'm not next to you. I have a Moby, I have a Moby, I have a Moby. Can you get on the roof with me real quick? They're trying to evac on us, there's no fucking way. Yeah, they're pushing. Cool. I'm walking across if you want to, Cap. They're knocking hard. Buddy on me, buddy on me, buddy on me. Buddy shit on on me, one. My bingo. They're resing inside, resing inside. Can't do anything, can't do anything with that. Found it all. Another Rampart team, back up, back up a bit, back up a bit. Another blue team on their front side. I'm looking for energy. I got some. 
They just rushed again. I shit on 100. I'm in the back. They traded, they traded, they traded. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On me, on me, on me, on me, on me. He's horrible. He's horrible. Axe right behind you, axe behind you. Good shit. Under, 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 under the map. Under the map. Oh, nobody, nobody's under the map. Bam, 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 bam,